Welcome everyone. Here we have a beautiful cognac from Hardy. This is the Hardy Gnosis Dior. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but I think I am. And uh, this is one of their main products. It is a blend of 40 different Grand Champagnes and it is aged a minimum of 50 years. So a minimum of 50 year old cognac. So that's not a joke. Hardy puts out some of the most elegant, beautiful, and most expensive as well cognacs. Some of their cognacs go all the way up to $10,000 and they come in the most beautiful crystal decanters you've ever seen. And um, they don't only focus on putting out quality juice, but their presentation is very extravagant as well. This is bottled at 40% like most cognacs. It doesn't say on there, I'm just assuming it's 40%. I haven't looked in a while, but we're gonna go with 40%. Yeah, it says it in the back. 40% ABV, uh, and yeah, here we go. Um, these are a little tricky to find around me now. They used to be readily available. Now they tend to be sold out at most places around me here in Southern California. Um, and they seem to be ranging somewhere in that three to $400 range, um, about 350-ish. So it used to be a little bit cheaper, but if you factor in that it's a 50-year-old cognac, it's not a terrible price when you think of it in that sense. Here we go. This has been breathing here for a good 15 to 20 minutes and on the nose. Wow. This is oozing with a million different things. One of those you could, I could probably bring out hundreds of notes if I sat there and spent enough time with it, but I'll give you some that really stand out. There's a very rich Mandarin, sweet, sweet pears, lychee, passion fruit, there's this sandal wood meets incense these very like you know when you light up incense the whole room smells up it's got those strong sandalwood sweet pipe tobacco kind of incense going on here vanilla think of that high-end rich candle or incense somewhere in that sandalwood vanilla just very perfumey. So creamy on the nose, you wanna dig in. So much creaminess and a lot, a lot of sweetness. You have to like it sweet. This is, it is a cognac and they tend to be sweet. Oh. Vanilla custard, creme brulee comes to mind when you say that. It's a white chocolate, <sighs> extremely elegant, very elegant, very sweet, very fruity. What else can I say? I can keep going probably, but I think that does it justice on the palate. Full of flavor, even at 40% ABV. Shows the age in the background. You get the sweet pipe tobacco, a little bit of leather, the sandalwood. Then it starts trickling down with the lychee fruit. 
the Mandarin and Pear. I want to say like Mandarin skin in the background and more towards the mid and front becomes sweet Mandarin. That sandalwood, those incense vanilla, the creamy custard. Yeah. It's got this beautiful elegance to it, creamy sweetness to it. If you're into brandies, and you're looking for a really refined, elegant product, but you also want to feel like you're having some age because then with the back of your tongue, you feel the age. But then in the front, it's just floating with elegance and sweetness. Tons of fruit, tons of complexity. It really is a dessert. For me, I would like this. Maybe I have, you know, my old fashioned with my steak. And then, you know, I have a whiskey and then I have, this is dessert. It's, um, it's very sweet like that. Let's go one more sip. else to really add I think my favorite part is the back because I get a little bit of that leather and the sandalwood and that incense and then the sweetness tends to trickle down more forward but for me my favorite part is feeling that age and those darker tones that muskiness more towards the back and don't get me wrong I love the sweetness in the front, but it is very sweet. It's very rich. It's very dessert-like, very custard. Cooked down pears, lychee. Um, I think if you're a cognac fan, if you're drinking your Hennessy's, if you're drinking your Martell's, you have to give this one a try. Um, it is very good. Um... For the whiskey drinkers out there, if you tend to lean more towards a sweeter style and if you don't mind a little bit of added sweetness compared to your normal scotches, let's say, then this is definitely worth giving it a try. Um, from the big names, I think you do get some of the best bang for your buck if you're going to compare it to the biggest names because they are giving you a 50 year old minimum aged product in here um and because it doesn't come in a super fancy decanter the price is a lot lot lower you know this juice in a very fancy decanter is going to be 1500 you know and depending on how fancy the decanter is but in a, in, a, in a crystal glass a fancy glass it goes to 1500 without it it's 300 so just factor that in when you see these gorgeous presentations um that you are paying a lot of money for the presentation so that's why i like this particular one they presented it this way makes it a little bit more affordable for the drinker i am going to score it it gets an 87 out of 100 for me and i would love to have this after my dinner sitting in a nice chair I even love to pair it with a cigar. Uh, I think that sweetness, the elegance would go really, really well with a nice cigar as well. Can't go wrong with this. It's beautiful. 87 out of 100. See you soon for many more. Cheers.